Josh. This is my channel, Newtons Per Second. Welcome, everybody. And today, I thought we'd have some fun with a box opening. I got a shipment in from BuyRocketMotors.com. Some motors. And here's the box. Always exciting when you get the hazmat logos coming in. <laughs> so, let's open this up and let's see what we got. Yeah, it looks like they're packing this very well. With <laughs> plenty of peanuts. Oh, cool. We got a sticker. Always got to get stickers, right? Let's see. First motor will be the H182 Redline motor from Aerotech. These are all going to be Aerotech motors. This is going to go in the carbon fiber wrap rocket I made and I'll have a build series with that and this will be test flights. I have one other 182 but I'll get a few flights in like this and that rocket's full dual deployment mode so again getting more experience with dual deployment this year is my goal so here's motor for that. Here's an Aerotech 140 or an I-140 White Lightning. And I just love this motor. I, I don't know, 38 millimeter, the same, just, it just cranks. I love having it in my uh, Blue Lightning rocket. That rocket weighs like six point something pounds loaded. And I don't know, this motor seems to really kick it. I, I just, I love it, you know, it's a, it's kind of like a mid-level I motor, but it's a lot of fun. A lot of smoke, a lot of fire. It sounds great. Oh, here we go. <laughs> this is an Aerotech, the I-500 uh, Blue Thunder motor, I-500T. I've always wanted one of these. I, I have yet to shoot one off. So where this thing pretty much blows up, it's almost a, a full I motor. And it, it blows up all its energy in like a, what, 1.1 seconds or something like that. So, and it, it's, it's a big motor, big 38 millimeter, it's pretty long. That's going in the fiberglass Sky Digger rocket for another flight, push it up a little bit higher and see how it does in another dual deployment run. And I'm still waiting on a J435 motor for that to come in. And my L11 or the L1000 motor is still, I don't, I don't have it. So still waiting. Here is an Aerotech 205 white lightning. Again, this is another great eye motor. If you haven't shot one of these, uh, these things are great. They're very loud. It's pretty much like the biggest eye motor you can get your hands on, 29 millimeter. And man, there's a lot of firepower behind this. Um, and it's pushed, same thing, my uh, seven, uh, almost, oh, the, the blue lightning, I, I fired off on this and it was six, you know, like again, six point something pounds. And, and it pushed that thing easy 1,600 feet. So this is a great motor. All right, the last, last motor in here should be the biggest motor. Oh, yeah. Woo! Oh, this has got some weight to it. Here we go. This is a K535 White Lightning motor. Beefy. So... While I'm waiting for the L1000 to come in, I'm shifting gears what I'm going to do with the Jupiter 3 rocket. So where I was going to launch the Jupiter rocket with the L1000 motor, they have a 3,000 foot waiver. Roxim, I've, I've adjusted the coefficient drag and I've tried to get this dialed in through software. 
matching the performance of the original J435 launch and uh, dialing in the, the coefficient drag. And Roxham saying with the L1000, I'm going to get about 2,400 feet, 2,450. You know. That's only less than 600 feet wiggle room. I don't want to go over the waiver. So my thought is this will be the test flight. So Roxim is showing this about 1,800 feet on a K535. For a K motor, this is not too bad. It's another DMS motor. And it's about like, it's just under 1,500 newtons per second. So it, and Roxman said it's going to get about 1,800 feet. So if I fly the Jupiter 3 on this and I'm seeing 1,800 feet, then I know I have the coefficient drag dialed in and I don't have to worry too much about busting a club's waiver. So I'll feel good about that. That's the job of this K535. Plus, I've never sent off a K motor before. I've never burned one up. So that's cool. Be my first. Yeah, this is awesome. I'll tell you what, <laughs> getting back into this hobby now, I've been back in for about two years, and this feels good. Get back into some bigger motors, and uh, yeah, we just we just keep pushing ourselves. But yeah, just a quick video. I just want to share this with you guys, a little quick, you know, open box or box opening, excuse me. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So thanks for watching, and. Let some exciting things happen. We'll see you guys next time.